Hey, it's your girl K. Did come back to you one more time. All right. Hope you're doing fine. I'm getting a couple of subscribers, subscribers, subscribers here and there, and I thank you guys for joining the team. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so this video is really about over the summertime. I didn't get to film my last um my last hotel that I was in, which was in Atlanta. Which by now you should know I was in Atlanta because I did build a bear in Atlanta. But I don't know if I said that when I did build a bear. I don't really know. I'm just kind of right now it's September, but you're gonna get this video in October. So yeah, it's kind of like I do a lot of scheduling because as you can see, also I got a lot of things to talk about. A lot of things to talk about. But I'm gonna get back to this right here. Alright. <laughs> anyway, so hotels to Airbnb, right? Honestly, I love hotels so much better than Airbnb. All right. Pros and cons, all right? For me, Airbnb, they're cute. They're homey. I, they're cute. They're homey. They're spacious. One thing I could say is they're cheaper. I should have probably wrote this down because it's probably been better than going above like, the, my head like this because obviously, your girl is... It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle, all right? All right, it's cheaper majority of the time, depending on what country you're in or what area you're actually in. Some could be as much as an actual hotel. So, and you don't get no maid service, no free soap, or like, okay. So, it's bigger, it's cheaper. You can make food there. Um... You're not going to have any deactivation, deactivated car because you just use regular keys that you use to get inside. Or oh, fob. Well, I've only been to, granted, I've only been to one Airbnb. i been to a lot, way a lot. I've been traveling in hotels since I was like 12. Because before that, I used to go on, my, it was my first church trip. And every time I used to travel, I used to only go to Jamaica. And my mother has, we have family down there, so... I used to always stay with families. I didn't have a reason to go to hotels other than when I was 12, going up. 12 to now, you know, I'm old. So, I've been doing this for about a couple of years. A couple of years. <laughs> so, yeah. From the my first Airbnb experience, I definitely like hotels better. That's, um, that's my pros about um, Airbnbs. My cons, nobody comes to clean up after you. <laughs> like... I don't want, like, all right, homey feeling could be a good and a bad. For me, it's a bad thing. When I'm going on vacation, I don't want to think about home. I don't want to think about home when I'm, I'm on vacation. And some hotels do have, like, um, places for you to cook. So depending on which good. I went to this hotel, and it had a kitchen area, and it was bomb. I didn't actually use it. I was only there for one night. But it was bomb. It was bomb. It had a whole living room area. Bruh. It was cute. I was really into that place. I, I wish I had more time to stay there, but I didn't. Uh, it is what it is. The funny thing was actually an upgrade while I even saw the room. And the upgrade was... That was worth an upgrade. But I had other plans to do, so I couldn't even stay there for a long time. So, yeah. That's how that worked. Because I ain't sleeping right now. I don't want to wake her up. My, my, my chatting. My chatting. What else? Uh, um... What I love about hotels, it doesn't have a homey feel. You feel like you're actually on vacation. Um, maid service comes in. Personally, because I take my own sheets and pillows, they don't make my bed for me anyway, but they do clean the bathrooms. They do tidy up the place, which I love. Y'all can hear her in the background. I'm really trying to mess with my YouTube flow. This is a problem. Why well, don't film as much? I'm happy I have a lot of scheduled stuff coming up. And it's coming out in October because Katani sometimes like I have the ideas in my head and I don't do them. Also, she's up. Which I don't mind doing videos with her. This is the thing with Katani. I'm sorry, this is off topic, right? When I want to do videos with her, she doesn't want to do them. She's crying, she's fussing, it's a problem. When she sees me doing a video, me, her madre, her mother, person who pushed her out, that's when she's gonna come in the video. And I'm like, I didn't schedule in this programming right now. I schedule for your own video in this own activity, and she doesn't want to do it. I video some stuff in Legoland. I'm going to get that up. But by the time, hopefully, I'm going to actually 
upload that after. But I don't have... I don't know because I didn't do that much videos of Legoland. I probably just put a, in a, like an Atlanta trip and like a snippets of Legoland. But I didn't do that much um, recording. I was just trying to enjoy myself, stay in the moment. You can't film everything. You know, I got time for that. And yeah, so I got to do one about the Wanda bus. Guys, never. Just take Greyhound. It costs more. Just take the Greyhound. Okay? Hound Grey. Anyway, so they give you, you get to, well, I do, oh my God. I take the tissues in the bathroom. <laughs> Ever since I was young, my mother always told me to take um, rags. And I, used to, I think she told me to take shampoo. I don't know if I, why I started doing the shampoo thing. I don't take rags anymore. I mean, not rags, towels. I used to always like white towels and you bleach it and whatever. But I stopped, when I was like, a, I stopped doing this until I was like a teenager. I stopped taking my mother used to literally say Khadija bring me back a towel like it was that serious for her I stopped doing the towel thing but I do and like if they put like one on the toilet of extra tissue and they put one in the roll got another maid service coming every day I put what's on the roll if it's not done by me and the people in the room before I leave I take it out of the bathroom and I put it in my suitcase and hide it so they don't see it that I'm doing that and uh, what else I take all the shampoos and conditioners, and I go to front desk, and I ask them for that. My last hotels, the hotel that I had this year, nobody had toothpaste and toothbrush. And I'm confused. Like, back in the day when I used to go to hotels, I haven't been in a couple of years, so like, hotels probably is a new thing. I don't know. But they don't have toothbrush and toothpaste. The last hotel I went to, and I told my, like, me and her was talking, was like, whatever. We asked the front desk, and they gave us toothpaste. Why am I asking you, dude? It should be my room. And then they give us a tube. They give us like the, the Colgate thin thing. I was like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that, shorty? What is that? So, yeah. Um, I like they come in. It feels, I don't like the homey feel. I like the vacation feel. I feel like an Airbnb gives in a vacation feel. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm on vacate. I'm in, sorry. Airbnbs make you feel like your homey feel. I don't want to feel like I'm at home on a vacation. I want to feel like I'm somewhere else on a different world, different planet, different mindset. When I'm home, I have too much stressors. It could be worse. I have too much things going on. My brain is going blah, 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 blah. I want to be on vacay. So hotel to me is vacay. You have room service. You call if there's a problem to the person downstairs. The, you know, you feel me? That's why I love hotels way better than Airbnbs. But I understand... If you have an Airbnb, just go, to, especially if you're in certain areas. Like where I was in Atlanta, they had a Kroger nearby, like literally walking distance. They had a Dollar Tree, they had Publix, they had a Target. Like literally where I was, everything was there. And if you want to make food, you can make food. Then that'll be a great place to have Airbnb. I don't really want to go to keep vacation to cook food. I want to order food. You know, I can't afford to do that kind of stuff. It's cheaper for me to actually buy food. I want to order food. I want to go out and get food. I don't want no. Why? 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 I do not do. Say it with me. I do not want to cook on a vacation. I hate to cook. I cook because I have to survive. If I'm on vacay, if I'm on vacay, I needs to be vacaying, and cooking is not part of the process. When you cook. You have to clean up. You have to wash dishes. You got to put food up. Nobody got time for that. Nobody has time for that. Okay? One thing if you get a hotel, though, get a refrigerator and a um, microwave. So, like, if you do have extra food when you come back from your, from your eatings, outings, out eatings, eat outings, whatever, you put in the fridge and um, you could, the microwave will obviously warm it up. Also, what I liked that we did on my last trip, but I didn't do this in England and England Paris, which I probably should have because we had microwaves, but I honestly don't like microwave food because I feel like they give you cancer, but it worked out in our favor because it actually made our like budget for going out much cheaper. They had this place called Joey's. I think it's called Joe's. Joey's. Oh my God. This is off the thing. It was across the street from my hotel. Their wraps. Their wraps, though amazing and i had a salad bar attached to my wrap amazing salad bar i was eating salad crackers i gained like five pounds when i just went to atlanta well, between the whole summer 
I gained like 10 pounds the whole summer for all this crap eating. But after I came back from Atlanta, the thing about it, I gained it, but I walk a lot. So if I guess I didn't walk a lot, I'm not a person who like exercise a lot. Because when I went away in Paris and England, I did hell of a walk. You know, I have bus passes and train passes. I did hell of a walking. Atlanta, I did hell of a walking. But the funny thing, I did more walking in Paris and England than I did in Atlanta. Let's be for real. Let's be for real, bro. So, yeah. But so far, out of those 10 pounds that I gained, I lost about six, seven pounds already. Yes, I think all that eating out <laughs> caught up to me. That's why. But I do do a lot of water walking. Not because I don't have my job. I'm going to do a video about my job too and what happened. I might just do it in all this because I don't feel like doing anything extra. But yes. Um. So, yes. That's the reason. I'm sorry I went off topic. But that's the reason why I like hotels much better than I like Airbnbs. Just because it has a vacation effect on you. Oh, that's what I was telling you. Sorry, I went off topic. I don't know if I even said it. I don't know. Get freezer food. If you're on a budget still, even though you're in a hotel, get a place with a microwave. And most hotels, if you, if it's not in your room, most of the time it's also in the lobby. Or somewhere you can get a microwave from. Get frozen foods and cook it like that too. And save money on that and use it on probably um riding around. I use buses and trains in Atlanta. And then like two friends came over, but they really didn't drive us anywhere. Like literally, where they drove us is where we could walk, had walked to. Like, literally, it was five minutes away. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm chilling like a villain. And it was just, it's cool. I liked it. I really did. I really did. So, yes. Guys, guys, guys. Ooh. I'm bored. But that's why I like hotels more than Airbnbs. Later, guys. Bye.